Hello, today we want to talk about cleaning fiber optic connectors. So we're going to use our x probe here to inspect some connectors and see what we need to clean off. So once we focus in on this connector, we see that we have some just very fine particles on here, very hard to see. So with this type of contamination, what we use is a dry connector cleaner. So we'll just swipe that end face across the tape of the cleaner and then install it back into the probe and we can see that that connector is nice and clean. Now for our other connector, we can see that there's a lot of, looks like oil on here. That's actually skin oil. So the best way to clean oils or icky pick, things like that, is what we call the wet to dry cleaning solution. So here we've got a Kim White Moist with a cleaning solution and we'll now go to the dry portion of the wipe. Notice how I drag my thumb across that. We're trying to pull any contaminants we can right off the side of the ferrule. So we can see now the connector is nice and clean. We'd be able to install that in a test equipment or a system. Another place that people really forget to clean is at their OTDR port. And the OTDR port is really important that it stays clean because with a damaged connector or bad transmission, we're going to get inaccurate test results. So today, we'll talk about using the one-click cleaners. Now the one-click cleaners are nice because we can use them with patch cords. We can simply put that in there, click down, and that will swipe the end face of the connector. But we can also remove this nice little boot and now insert this directly into the interface or the OTDR ferrule port and we can give it one to two clicks and that will clean the adapter or the ferrule inside of this OTDR. So be sure to clean every single connector before you connect to any piece of equipment or test equipment and remember always inspect your connectors.